Hello Chalice, this is your practice video for Bore um, by Handel. This is the last piece in Suzuki Book 2. I think it's a lot of fun. It's sort of a celebration piece. We've learned so many difficult things through the book and this incorporates a lot of them but doesn't introduce a ton of new technique. Okay, there's a lot of these hairpins, crescendo, decrescendos that happen throughout. In fact, if you look under the staff in Bore, every single line, almost every single measure has a dynamic indicator. And so I want you to pay special attention as we go through this of which parts are um, supposed to be getting louder, which parts are supposed to be getting softer. And we'll also talk about some of the patterns that are especially helpful as you memorize Bore. From the beginning, one, two, three. <laughs> We should have been practicing. Check out the previews video. And here's your other one. Just like the bracket we already learned. So there's a couple of things I want you to pay special attention to as you go through this piece. Um, not only the dynamics that we talked about before, but also getting everything to ring beautifully in tune. I played it a little bit slower so you could really hear your intonation. If your cello isn't ringing, then you're probably a little bit off your tapes, a little bit high, a little bit sharp, um, and it's a really good time to just settle in and see if we can't center your pitch um, all the way throughout. It's such a tricky thing to teach and it takes a lot of time to work on, but please work on your pitch in Bore. Bore is a great piece that doesn't introduce a lot of new technique for us to focus on fundamentals like intonation. All right, happy practicing cellists.